Today we're going to show you how to hook up a uh, 30 amp RV power out outlet box, which is basically a box that you can hook up your camper or motorhome or with 110 volts, but it's 30 amps. Uh, most circuits in a home are either going to be 15 amps or they're going to be uh, 20 amps. They're not usually 30 amps for 110 volts. That's kind of unusual. Anyways, we are back at the power box. I'm going to show you. You've got your power coming in. And up here, you have this wire that curls around and comes to here. That is 110 volts. You have another line coming around, comes to there. That's another 110 volts. The line coming over here with the white tape on it is your neutral line. The other side, so you see where your neutrals are, you've got your ground, and the ground and the neutrals are tied together by the screw right here because the bars go across and there's a screw through there which connects both of those. So, like I said, it's kind of unusual to have 30 amps on 110. What I've done is I've already pre I had to put in some conduit. This is in a basement. And then here's the box over here. I did go ahead and take a couple screws out of this box so I can just pull this cover right off. And that's what the plug looks like. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this down. We'll pull out this plug right here. And as you can see in the back, we've got three different, I'm trying to get you a little better light here, one, two, and three. So as you're looking at it, you've got the, on the very top, you've got the ground, and then you have a neutral and the hot light. All right, as you're looking at this box, you can see it says 30 amps. That's the amperage that it's rated for. You can see on the plug, it's showing you a picture of the plug, which is that plug right there. And the neutral needs to be on the right. The line voltage or the hot wire needs to be on the left. And then the ground goes into the box. There's a connector that you'll attach to. If you look in there, you can see that's the grounding connector right there. Now I actually have four wires in here. Uh, in case I ever wanted to make this a 220 outlet, or if I wanted to change, if I wanted to change it for some reason, um, 30 amps is going to take a. You have to remember to size your wire right. 30 amps is going to take a number 10 wire, 10 gauge. That's the thickness of the wire, how many amps it could it could hold. Uh, you wouldn't want to go with anything smaller because that would be could cause a fire if it were to short out. So go ahead and hook up these. You see I've got a black wire, a white wire, and a copper wire. And basically that's going to go to, trying to get you a little better view here. The neutral will be the white wire. The line one will be the black wire. And then the ground wire will go over to the box and ground there. I'll attach those wires and then we'll take a look. Alright, now as you look at the plug, you've got your neutral, I'm sorry, you've got your ground on top, you've got your neutral on the right, and your hot leg is on the left. Just like it shows you right in the diagram. Remember the black wire is your hot, the green is ground, and the white is neutral. So now we'll go ahead and stick this back up into the box.
And now there's just one screw that holds it in, which goes right there. Now I had taken off this top cover, so I'm going to pop this top cover back on just so you could see a little bit better. And it gave me a little more room to work in there. So I do have to put that cover back on. So now here, you're all set. You can plug your cord in right here. You can close your box. This is actually an outdoor box for this RV because most people want them indoors. We just have an access so you can plug it in inside the house. But normally you put this on a pole outside. So now we'll go over to the box and we'll hook that side up. All right, back over here to the box. One thing you gotta make sure of is you can't just hook this to any size breaker you need to know what size the breaker is that you're going to hook this circuit to if you look in the end of the of the uh, breakers there you'll see that says 15 amp 15 amp these are basically all 15 amps well we need a 30 amp circuit which is going to look like this and it says 30 so that means that it's rated for 30 amps um i just like to check and make sure they're working properly too if you do that you can see it tripped the breaker and I can reset it and it all seems to be working good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this black wire and I'm gonna run it up and attach it to here to a brake circuit breaker to here I'm gonna run the white wire I'm gonna take that wire I'm gonna run it nicely along here and back into here into my neutral bar and then I'm going to come the other way and I'll come up there with my ground actually I'll probably end up running my uh, neutral over here or on my ground it doesn't matter you can hook them up either way that should pass code either way so we'll do that in a minute we should be good and set now whenever you do this obviously make sure you don't have the power on and Yes, I do have the power on because I know exactly what's hot and what's not and you know So I'm doing it because it's late at night and trying to get this done and uh, I know what I'm doing so Let's get her tied in there All right back to a couple things to look for what I've done is I've taken the wire the copper wire and I'll run it up here and I put it in here and you notice on both sides you've got a good you've got this when this is tightened down you get a good connection there I've also taken the neutral wire came right up here which is the white wire into here and I've tightened that down now if you notice when you look at those you want to make, see how the copper sticks through just a little bit but you want to make sure you don't get the the sheathing or that white casing because if you don't get that in there if you if you get that inside there and you tighten it down you're not going to get a good connection so you won't have a good neutral so make sure that you it's copper it's copper's tightening down on that when that screw tightens down it's copper I mean all right lastly we've got the breaker 
I've tightened it in there. You can see there's not a whole lot of extra. There we go. A little better maybe. You can see that the it's got good connection there, tightened down. The copper's shown a little bit, but not a lot. You don't want copper way back. You don't want copper way back to here or anything because that just gives it a chance to short out on something. So, all right, let's see if we can't plug this thing in. Remember, you want to have your box dead, not live. Basically, on these square D boxes. You're going to snap in on the one side, and then you're going to snap into the box itself. That's it. Don't forget to take and label your box, your cover, when you put your cover back on there. And uh, label that breaker. Obviously, we're going to label it for motorhome. And uh, we'll mark it as 110 volt. So anybody who doesn't know will know that that's 110 volt. And this was all approved by your local electrical inspector and uh, yes he did finish off that bag of Crown Royal there so we'll have to give him a ride home but we don't want him drinking and driving <laughs>